as technology expands, like I was wanted to talk to you about the James Webb, some of the discoveries, um, but it sometimes it raises more questions. And one of them was these galaxies that were formed that appeared to have been formed too quickly. Mm. Is that uh, safe to say? Yeah. So we had one of the reasons we built that telescope was to what it does it, it, because it can see very distant things and because light travels at a finite speed the further out into the universe you look the further back in time you're looking right so because that can see things from which the light has been traveling for over 13 billion years then you're seeing things as they were in the first billion years or a few hundred thousand years in the history of the universe right essentially mm -hmm. so um well, a few hundred million years, sorry, I should have said. So so you, you're, you're seeing the first galaxies form with that telescope, which is one of the reasons it was built. And, and the reason we wanted to see is because we, didn't, we don't fully understand that process. As I mentioned before, we don't really fully understand why they have black holes in them and, and it's something to do with their formation, but we don't understand it very well. So it's not surprising to me that when you build that instrument and collect light from the early universe, you see an early universe that's behaving in a different way to the mm. way that you thought it behaved. And so indeed, yeah, we, we're seeing galaxies that for, you w formed earlier than you would have predicted. But that, d means that that means that your model of the way the universe evolved is, is not quite right, and that's not a surprise, because we wouldn't have built the thing if we'd known everything. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, of course. So I don't, I don't think there's any, I think it's fair to say there's nothing there that's absolutely, completely destroys our picture of how the universe evolved from the cosmic microwave background that you saw in those images earlier. Does it add more complexity? Does it add it, more nuance? Do you... Yeah, I, I would say so. And I'm not an expert in that field, but my, my understanding is that it's interesting because we're, we're having to refine and develop new models of the way that the galaxies formed and indeed you're saying that it looks like the stars and the galaxies are present in the universe earlier than we might have expected so it might be it might be that you're seeing a hint of something really profound that we didn't understand or it might be that just the models need a bit of a tweak mm. so the I, I galaxies think form quicker than we expected yeah that in the early stages the of the universe um, what are those red dots, the red dots that, that were observed? Do you know what I'm talking about? In, in, the, in the images, the James Webb images yeah. of the early universe. Yeah, they're, they're distant. That disappeared. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I, uh, no. I saved it because I, I knew that we were going to have to talk about this. Um, it was um, – Jamie, I know we've talked about it before. Yeah, there it goes found hundreds of little red dots in the ancient universe. We still don't know what they are. Small galaxies are either crammed with stars or they host gigantic black holes. The data astronomers have collected continues to puzzle them. So yeah. what is that all about? Do you know? I don't know. It says it says there that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go with that. I mean, little I think what you just speed reading that. So it says, uh, they it look says like a class of galaxies that, um, that so uh, I, I suppose we're looking at a kind of galaxy it seems that we're looking at a kind of galaxy that we don't see today in the universe mm. um red and compact visible only during about 100 uh, 1 billion years of cosmic history so that would be as i said be, because we don't really understand the formation of the galaxies and these supermassive black holes that that's interesting because what you're seeing in the data is a kind of almost Proto galaxy, I suppose, Ooh. these little tiny galaxies. That's what it seems to suggest. That. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that. But just so, so it, yeah, I think it, what we're seeing is that we don't understand how structures formed in the universe. We we have a reasonable idea, but we don't understand the detail. Hmm. And the more things like that you find, the more information you have to build models of how stuff formed. Do we have another like next generation James Webb type telescope? That's even more efficient or more capable. The, there are, I mean, there are, there are several sort of proposed observatories, um, and also, by the way, gravitational wave detectors. Which so we've got LIGO, which is on the ground. There are proposals to put one in space, which is called LISA. The, one of one of the one of the proposals is called LISA, which is lasers between satellites, so you can have much bigger things. And the reason that's interesting is because there'll be gravitational waves from the Big Bang. 
So, you know, as you mentioned neutrinos, you've got neutrino observatories, which can observe neutrinos from the early universe. And you can see things. It's just like light in a way. But it, it gives you a, a different view. Uh, you mentioned earlier, it's a different way of looking at the universe. So the neutrinos will have information. Uh, gravitational waves will have detailed information about the Big Bang itself. Mm. But we can't detect them at the moment because they're, they're, we can't detect those really tiny little ripples in space and time. That's what's so but, fascinating because if they do launch this and they find new information, that's even more puzzling. And you keep going further and further and further. Yeah. And, and we want to know. It's like you yeah. said earlier. We, 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 we're asking very deep questions about why the universe is the way it is. In maybe why there's a universe at all in the sense that d did it have a beginning? Right. And if so, what does that mean? Was it mean for something like this to begin? Yeah, I, I really, I, I find it fascinating because, and the most exciting thing of all is that we don't know. Yeah. 